Hello, welcome back to the Fender Undiscovered Artist of the Year 2018. Now this is the second heat where you, the public, will get to choose which of our four contestants will join the winner from the last heat in the final. The theme of this year's competition is play something different. And the eventual winner of the competition will be flown out to California to meet the Fender team out there. Okay, time to once again meet our lovely panel. How are you? Good. Yeah? Great. We've had a lot of great talent to drink in. Is there anything in particular that has stood out for you in terms of what they've been bringing? I think it's been really nice to see collectively across the board so far, they've all been very different. Yeah. You know, and that's always nice. You're not feeling like you're hearing somebody again doing something that somebody's already performed. Mm -hmm. So the diversity we've had has been incredible, I think, and yeah. that's been really exciting to see. Yeah, the performances have been amazing. They've stayed with us. And also the songs that these artists have been writing, because you've got to think about how it's going to play outside of the performance space. Mm -hmm. How has that felt for you, Rasheen? I think it's brilliant, because the great thing about things like this is that everyone kind of whines about, you know, there's no new music coming through and there aren't any great new artists. And then you do things like this, and it's like there is so much talent out there, and it's all different. And people are writing great songs, and it's just you know needing a platform to make them shine. So how are we feeling <laughs> about some more great artists taking to the stage? Excellent. Excited. 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 <laughs> Let's kick it off. Here is our first artist of today. My name is Tom Forbes, and we're here for Fender Undiscovered. It's a bit a bit funky, a bit rocky, and Giuseppe here brings the energy. Like Fender acoustics are really cool because you can kind of do like electric stuff on the neck, but also kind of be acoustic at the same time. All right, here you go. This is Tom Forbes. Thank you, Vicky. Tell you now, Alpha Man said, no. Only love me, 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 you're knocking on the door. Say my bad child, man, I got my make a draw. Never bad much, but you're working at the door. I asked him to go in the boat. Fight, die to him, and I'm in the go in the boat. Once you stay, just fight to the go in the boat. King out of each high. Let me tell you now. Alpha man for Santa. All the loving women when you're mucking on the door. Super bad shit, I better come and make a show. Have a bad lunch, but you're mucking on the door. She What did you make of it, panel? I literally couldn't stop smiling. <laughs> it's just like so infectious and energetic. You know, I had like Ian Jury and the Blockheads at one point, and then it sounded a bit Daft Punk, and then it was like the Flash Gordon soundtrack, and it was just like. <laughs> What's the Flash know, Gordon? What queer <laughs> reference? Bit of like kind of What's Queen, up? like that operatic kind of big. I was like listening, to, listening to like uh, Magic FM on the way down. I was like, <laughs> why doesn't I think of like stealing like from, from like Magic FM first? Yeah. <laughs> the words. I've got here are very fun. Very fun. Boogie music. Boogie music. Boogie. I just, it was infectious. Like, just don't know where you're going to go, but that was half the entertaining part of it, right? It was like, where is it going to go? Like, it's got this funky bass line. Then I felt like I was going to Ibiza the minute you got mm. the pad strings. I was like, whoa, it's like cross genre for you singing wise. What was like, because that was yeah. quite different from what I've seen so far. What, oh. is, what is your vocal style and who do you look um, up to for that? Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Um, and Prince. Interesting. That was brilliant. <laughs> but now it's time for us to move on to our next contestant. I'm Taylor and I'm here for Fender Undiscovered 2018. So, like any guitarist does, I was dreaming about my next guitar, which is a Telecaster. Uh, I went to Fender's site and uh, top banner just said Fender Undiscovered 2018. 
and I just knew that was my opportunity just to give it a go and to see, to see if I could get here. And lo and behold, I have. I like anything with a groove. Loads of ideas thrown into the melting pot with some melodies over the top, you know? So that's something different. So let's do it. This is Taylor Wheeler. dynamic because it kept moving and then your voice kind of comes out of you so effortless so big I could see that you were blown away by it yeah you had your full like props to you Metallica moment in there yeah. bit of Jimi Hendrix bit of Led Zepp the Who like are there rock singers that you look up to or are you actually looking at completely different singers in terms of inspiration you know what I'm really boring like I listen to Kanye West and okay. hip-hop and stuff Wait, there's nothing <laughs> like, boring about Kanye West I did actually get um, a lot of Led Zeppelin recently to listen to because I, I want guitar music to come back right I want there to be an icon who's inspiring people to pick up the guitar and play again so maybe in my writing I kind of try and throw in those <laughs> 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 bits just to you know, a slight nod to it you know yeah. you want to be that guitar hero yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to. <laughs> to be honest, I think that's something that you, Neil, would like to see as well. I mean, that's that's your job, is to find <laughs> someone to fill that void. Yeah, well, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like the more jangly moments on the acoustic did remind me of Pete Townsend moments. And then when the fuzz kicked in, you know, you got you got a bit of, you know, the raw blood, maybe Band of Skulls, that kind of, yeah. kind of fuzzy thing going on and on an acoustic guitar as well, so <laughs> kudos to you. It was great, thank you so much, but right now it's time for us to check out our next performer. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Chris. And we're from a band called San Blas. Uh, so we uh, play alternative rock fronted by a ukulele, trying to bridge the ukulele into the world of rock music. Uh, we heard about the Fender Undiscovered competition through Facebook. But now we're here, seeing everything, it's just really exciting. Yeah, we're really excited to here we go, on stage, performing for us right now, it's Sam Blass. Driven by ambition Driven by self-gain No thought for the unwealthy no thought given to their pain These politicians ain't exciting They just bicker and choose the blame But what is actually more frightening Is the people 
I mean, what did the panel think? Yeah, I, I mean, I loved it. It's a very, like, sunny, sun-kissed sound. And your lyrics are pretty on point, you know. You, it's not just the sunny sound it's met with. Um, you're actually saying something about the bigger picture of the world that we live in. Uh, but with a hint of sarcasm and comedy, which I liked. Um, obviously, play really well together. It had quite a lot of groove to it. What did you think, uh, Neil, technically as well? Oh, it's great. I mean, you guys have obviously played together lots, I would imagine, because it's super tight. Like the uke playing, just that extra element to it. It was finger picked at the beginning, and then you were <laughs> like, you did that thing where you just ran down the neck like a <laughs> like a rock player on a uke. <laughs> on a uke. That was the great yeah, yeah. thing. On a um, uke. <laughs> so that was really good, and I liked, you know, from I, you know, from a performance perspective, you know, you're in a room performing for a small amount of people here yet, yeah, but I could imagine like being in a venue, that breakdown moment, everybody just like singing along, but with the message yeah, of that I mean, song as well, exactly which I thought was really interesting. Yeah. Right. Really good energy, so thank you so, so much for yeah, performing for us. Thank you guys for having us. Best of luck, but now it's on to our next artist. My name's Rasheen O'Hagan. I'm a singer-songwriter based in Essex in London. I'm all about songwriting myself, so everything's about the craft of the actual song and saying something and saying it in a different way and in a way that people can like connect with. I heard about Fender Undiscovered from online actually and seeing everyone do it last year and kind of following along and it just sounded really great. Um, I'm slightly nervous about performing for the panel today. Um, I think it's more that like pressure of being in the moment and having to get it right on the spot. Okay, time now for Rasheen O'Hagan. <laughs> Oh 
That was beautiful. Rasheen, you've been anticipating this moment for some time, haven't you? I'm very excited. There's another Rasheen in the room. It's happened. It's never happened before. <laughs> How did you feel about that performance? Uh, I loved that performance, and I think you're clearly a very brilliant songwriter. Um, I was picking up Taylor Swift vibes and Hayley Williams, Paramore, um, kind of like a bit of emo pop punk kind of stuff, which is great. And I was wondering, have you thought about kind of what sort of arrangements you'd like to do with your songs? Because I was thinking strings on that song would be wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Um, that song in particular, I'd love to do strings like and go full on, like all out on it. Yeah, definitely early Taylor Swift is a big influence for me. And you liked it, didn't you? I did like <laughs> it. I think you nailed it on the head. It's got to feel natural. And I think that really came across in your performance. And it was your voice is so enchanting. Like I think everybody has said it here on the panel that that was like the centre of attention. And for me, the guitar was like the background bit. Best songs, if you can sit there and just strum away and sing along to it, that's how the best songs are written. You know, so I was really impressed by that. And there was points of the song where you were adding more strings into the song that kind of built the dynamic up. And I'm really about the flow of how a song builds up and down. You know, it has that motion, the pull and pull feel. For me, that was really impressive. We all really enjoyed that. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me play. Oh, no anytime, Steve. <laughs> anytime. Yeah, really, really good. good. They got it, which a lot yeah. of people don't really get the vibe or the, the even the meaning of the song. They were kind yeah. of completely behind it. They understood it. So uh, it's always different when you perform it, like when not other people see it. But I think I think our message came across all right. So yeah, it was really fun. It's mind blowing going up there in front of four panelists. Um, it's technically my first performance in front of people as a solo artist and I loved it. We actually said a lot about my voice which was really nice because um, I normally put my, myself down on my voice in particular so it's nice to have compliments on that and also um, they like the song which is the best thing for me. See you. So that is it from the second heat of this year's Spender and Discovered Artist of the Year competition. Now, it is up to you, the viewer, to decide who you want to go through to the final by voting for your favourite over at fender.com forward slash undiscovered. Be sure to join us to check out our final set of contestants in our search for the Fender Undiscovered Artist of the Year 2018. I will see you then.